Welcome to product research methods and we are going to use Amazon to start with. So here is method number one. On Amazon we will check the products which have been launched in 30 and 90 days on Amazon from the filters on the left. So this is because these are relatively new products launched on Amazon Marketplace and uh, this is like a shortcut so the products that have been launched on Amazon the sellers have probably already done a pretty decent amount of research and uh, so we want to capitalize on that instead of starting from scratch so I will take you to amazon.com right now and uh, show you how it's done so here we are on amazon.com and this is the department's page and we will scroll down and we will go down we are looking for home garden and tools and uh, <clears throat> we will pick a category let's say we will pick garden and outdoor and so this is the garden and outdoor department we can see a lot of categories here sub departments or categories whatever you want to call them and uh, so on the left hand side there are sub departments or sub categories so I will try to find something uh, from within this main category let's say I'm going to go for indoor gardening and here we are on the indoor gardening page so on the left hand side we are going to set some conditions set some filters so you see this is the new arrivals and uh, we are going to first see if we can find something uh, which has been launched in the last 30 days so we will click on that and now what you see here the products that you see here they are launched within the past 30 days so what, what else we can do is since we wanted to have a specific price range so we can put a price range here and it can be from twenty dollars to forty five dollars and we will click on go so now we have set a filter and it will only show us product products which are selling between twenty to forty five US dollars which have been launched in the last thirty days so out of these products we will try to figure out something simple something which does not break very easily something which does not have a lot of components and look at this king creek farms this is the brand name 1020 plant trays for seedlings microgreens wheatgrass it's, and we will click it's selling for 25.49 we will go on to this product page and looks like there is a lot of improvement when it comes to the images so we this could be a potential product by the way and it's recently launched it does not have any reviews and they have plenty of stock and so what I'm going to do is I believe this is the primary keyword for this product plant trays for seedlings microgreens wheatgrass BPA free five packs so plant trays could be potentially a potential keyword for this so it's selling for 2549 so the first thing that I want to do is go on amazon.com one more time and search for this keyword and see how many sellers are there what's the competition like so there are about over 5000 results for the keyword plant trays meaning more than 5000 lists exist on amazon which have the words plant trays on their titles 
so this area is the title so okay so now what I'm going to do is I am going to yeah see this this one is selling for 2130 it has 748 reviews the average star count is four out of five and uh, it's selling pretty well so it does fulfill another criteria that it has less than 1000 reviews in total and it has four star count which means it's a decent product so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to run the jungle, jungle scout pro plugin and let it load let it do its magic let it populate all the fields here and wow so we have a medium demand and medium competition product so i'm going to sort this with the revenue to see how much the max a seller is is selling for this particular keyword so i'm not going to consider this because it's a sponsored product ad it's an advertisement it's not an organic list so whatever list you see here with the words sp you're not going to consider that so this one is doing 29,510 um in monthly sales but as i said in my earlier videos that this number is not accurate uh, jungle scout usually shows three times more than the actual revenue everything else the review count the rating count the seller the fees everything else uh, is pretty much accurate and also this data the the number of sales this is not accurate so this is just an average so let's see what this seller is doing it's selling for $11.29 it's doing 22,000 in sales. Um, it has a 4.5 star rating. It has 312 reviews. And the product is fulfilled by Amazon, which means the stock is in Amazon's warehouse. So, okay, let's go down. Yeah, this was the list that we saw. 10 plant growing trays, no drain holes. It's selling for 2130 and it's doing 14,000. So it has 748 reviews. The rating is 4 and it's fulfilled by Amazon. So we can consider something like this. We can. Let's see. Yeah, this this person is selling 5 pack for $40. I wonder why because this one is selling for 2130 the 10 pack a pack of 10 trays and this guy is selling five pack so but this one is also doing fulfillment by merchant which means whenever an order comes through Amazon they themselves are responsible for shipping it to the customer Amazon is not shipping this product to the customer so probably this is this is also one of the strategies when you are just launching a product you don't just send everything to amazon's warehouse you keep the stock with you and whenever an order comes you you deliver you you ship it to the customer directly um, this is just to test the product how it's performing the kind of reviews that you're getting from from the customers to see if there are any complaints related to the patent or any issues with the product itself so you test by FBM and uh, then you go full-fledged once you are satisfied once there are no complaints no issues then you go full-fledged and you send the stock to Amazon okay so it looks like a potential potentially good product uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to merchant words and see how the the keywords search demand estimated search volume for the keyword plant trays so i'm going to type plant trays and it's going to show me the estimated search volume yeah so the word the words planting trays has 48600 estimated searches per month which means 48600 people or 
are searching for this keyword on Amazon or these keywords are searched for on Amazon 48,600 times a month on average. So our prime, prime um, keyword is plant trays. Plant trays is 20, uh, searched 21,200 times a month. So this is also okay considering there isn't that much competition the all the other criterias are good enough so this this is not this is a product which is not going to make a lot of sales per month but this is a potentially good product so far to test the system it fulfills the first criteria of testing the system testing the business model so now what i'm going to do is I'm going to head over to alibaba.com and see what is the cost price for this planting plant trays. And while Alibaba fetches the results, we go back to our, to the list that we had identified this one and we try to um, remember, try to memorize this picture and it's this person is selling a five pack so this is something that we have to look for on Alibaba let's go back and let's just try to scroll down a little bit and see if we can find the exact same product yeah 1020 this was the number mentioned there as well so yeah I think yes this is exactly the same product which is already being sold on Amazon for twenty twenty five forty nine twenty five forty nine. But we are we targeting the twenty five forty nine one? We can, and we can also target the twenty one thirty one. So it's let's say this one is being sold for twenty one thirty twenty one thirty twenty one dollars thirty cents for. 20 inch by 10 inch perfect garden seed starter grow trays for seedlings indoor wheat grass so these these are all the keywords that you see here in the title this is the title of the product and whatever you see here is engineered these are the keywords each keywords is going to be searched on merchant words if there is good enough search volume we will add that in our title so this seller is selling a 10 pack of these tr trays for 2130 so going back to alibaba and we see that this seller has a different price selling price of 0 0.40 per piece and this seller because the quantity the minimum quantity required is 1000 pieces and over here the minimum quantity required is 100 pieces so let's see if we have some more sellers here selling the same product and what is the average price for that let's scroll down a little bit 0.85 thousand product pieces let's scroll down a little bit more and let's scroll down a little bit more no on the first page we did not find let's try to check the gold suppliers and check this as well the trade assurance let's see what results we have so let's scroll down scroll down scroll down scroll down it appears to me that the two suppliers that we saw earlier they're not gold suppliers and they're not trade assured partners with Alibaba but that's okay so this guy is selling for 0.6 per piece and they have sold about 8000 and more worth of product so so now we have a choice we can either check with this seller with this supplier or we can check with the other suppliers as well it's it's not a big deal we have to start communicating with them and we have to get the samples and we have to negotiate on the pricing and then see decide which supplier to go with so if we just look at this price it's 0.6 per piece and this this moq is a thousand so i'm going to quickly open the google calculator 
and 0.6 so we can easily place an order for six hundred dollars and uh, still get uh, our first products sent out so within six hundred dollars we can I mean add add on some some more for the shipping so probably if you will do DHL probably two hundred dollars on top of it so within a thousand dollars eight hundred dollars we can test a product for private labeling and uh, there isn't much competition we can uh, certainly test this product out and uh, so if, if this person is selling if giving us a tray for 60 cents and we ha we happen to sell um, 10 10 uh, per per pack so 0.6 times 10 our cost for one pack of 10 trays would be six dollars and it is being sold for twenty one dollars thirty cents so now what I will do is I will use the FBA calculator plugin AMZ Scout FBA calculator it's right here I'm just gonna click on this and it's going to load for this particular product so our cost for 10 trays is six dollars let's say we will add two more dollars to the shipping and we are this seller is selling for 21 30 um so based on this this seller is making a loss it's minus two one three point nine three based on this selling price and based on this sourcing price so if we sell this at twenty two dollars and thirty cents we are in a profit of a hundred dollars and if we look at this is probably because this could be because either it's a whole wholesale seller or it's a Chinese seller himself and uh, so they're, they're really their their cost of acquisition they they their sourcing price would be very very low so if they can do it for three dollars and add one dollar for shipping so they, they are now in a profit of sixteen hundred dollars per month let's go back to the other list which we identified before so this guy is selling a five pack for twenty five dollars and forty nine cents let's run the FB calculator here and see how much this person is doing so yeah, they are. They look to be a very new, brand new list. They're only doing six sales per month. So based on this estimate, so they are still on a profit of seventeen dollars and ninety-two cents. So it's all about working your sourcing price and your shipping price. Your basically your landed cost and uh, so th this also shows about shows you the monthly storage fees the pick pack fee the that amazon charges the referral fee that amazon charges per sale for this product based on the dimensions of this product and the weight of this product so yeah so it's all about this is a potentially good product if you can um, source it for cheap cheaper than the prices mentioned here on alibaba from anywhere in the world this is a go ahead from my end so this concludes the method number one for identifying your first product and uh, in the next video I'm going to share the next method number two hope to see you in the next video